Don't go out drinking at bars and try to pick up clients. I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. The question I have is when you grow to the scale of what your businesses are at, what do you scare of or what do you fear in your business? I don't really have any fears to be honest with you, but if I had to say something, and I hope to get there one day, but but mine would be that I don't reach my full potential, which is not gonna happen because I'm giving it everything. I, I'll go to bed, I, I pass I, I pass out. Because I, I, I've left it all on there, all on the table, every single day. Every drop of energy is expended. And I, I understand, I, I've, I've got to a point where I know how to manage it to where I know when to give it. I, I know how to manage it to a point where I know how to give it my all all day long to where at five o'clock I can start slowing down and try to start to turn my brain off from that side of it and switch over to family time, me time so I can recharge, okay? But, but then by the time I go to sleep, you know, I leave myself just enough energy where I can barely enjoy that moment before I go to sleep. So I know that over the next five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, I'm gonna get wherever that potential is, I'm gonna hit it, because I'm giving it everything I got every day. I'm not focused on what that potential is, I'm just focused on, am I gonna do what I need to do today? And so my only fear when I wake up is, am I, and I already know the answer, but am I gonna give it everything I got right now? We don't stop, because we are motivated to get to this certain point. You know, yeah, so it's thing, hard. The thing is, though, is that you're you believe, you work hard, and you adapt. Right. But then there's this little thing at the end called patience, right? And I think that, like, as you're as you're going through your days and you're trying to to create this balance, um, you know, it, it. I wish somebody would like. I like. I wish I could just like put something inside of your brain right now because looking back, I was the same exact way. I would work till midnight every night. And if I would have only understood how, how abundant this business is and how me working till midnight is not, you know, like, like the leads and all the little things that I'm trying to, trying to do at night, wasn't, wasn't sure. There, there's, there's moments where in the beginning, maybe you need to work till midnight. There's certain things going on, I get it. But as far as a general routine, that wasn't my make it or break it. You know, that, that just wasn't my make it or break it. I thought it was, you think it is, but the business is so abundant that you don't, you don't have to, you, you, if you don't recharge, if you don't spend that time with your family, you're gonna look back and say, and you're gonna, and then you're gonna understand, you're, you're gonna say to yourself, you know what? I could have gotten where I am without working all those hours. I could have spent more time with my family. And you're going to start to think, hmm, I wish I would have done that. But now that I'm here and I understand this, now that's what I'm going to do. That's what happened to me. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And I wish somebody would have told me that you don't have to do that. You know? Because it, it, it comes back to being efficient. If you can't get done between eight and five, okay, what you need to do to exponentially grow, then we need to reevaluate what we're doing and why we're working till midnight. What was something you did, either one of you, before you, let's say, had money to invest and put into, like for new agents, for instance, like, um, or someone just starting out, like what, did, what kind of stuff did Spirit you do? Spirit is free. You call your friends and family, that's nothing, right? All your Facebook friends, that's free. For sale by owners are free. Door knocking's free. Meeting people at Kroger's free. All this is free. You can build a business from literally with spending zero if you really wanted to. A lot of reasons people spend money is because you know you buy products and technology that makes things easier, like the dialer. You know where you you can find numbers like that from your office and then call them with a snap of a finger and it's just call them one after another automatically. You know it's only a couple hundred bucks and it saves you hours of your life. So you buy it for, you, you do those things for convenience to speed the process up, but you can literally just walk around in public and meet people. There's people that do this, by the way. I know people that, that, that have made a living off of meeting people at bars at night. 
in Gulf Shores and selling huge, like multi, multi million dollar houses and developments and stuff from just people that they met going out and drinking at bars. Um, don't go out drinking at bars and try to pick up clients. <laughs> but um, I don't drink at all, by the way. Um, but but does that make sense? Yes. Like all those things are free. You don't have to have any money to, to do that. Like the name of the game is just contact people. Connections. You know, and you can pay a little bit to contact people, mm -hmm. you know, or like even the, even the Red X and the dial, it's just a couple hundred dollars, right? I think where we get in trouble is Zillow leads. Two or three hundred dollars for a lead. Realtor.com, uh, you know, things like that. You know, where you're buying these leads, where you're basically buying a random person in your market's contact information for several hundred dollars. Where you could have just met them at Kroger for free. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think that's where a lot of people are getting in trouble. They feel like they have to buy leads, that these leads are the only leads that are doing anything. Nobody else is doing anything. This is the only source of leads. I think that the industry has kind of got us a lot of newer agents kind of thinking in that. Am I wrong?